Hey everybody, I'm Jonesy. Today we're going to be playing some Tyler Tasmanian Tiger. You may remember this game from the old PS2 era, which would have led you to be here to watch this, right? Like a little nostalgia journey that you've searched for, I'm guessing. And I gotta say, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty okay game. It's uh, mostly about collecting things a la Benjo and Kazooie. The soundtrack, I think, for this game was probably top notch. We actually tried recording a bit of this the other day, and our uh, audio leveling was a little bit off, so we made sure to put extra attention to it this time. And then he fell into the Cave of Destiny. A totally original plotline that has definitely not appeared in any other titles. Right? The cave that reveals his destiny. Don't be afraid. Boomerang synergy. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Can I might? The Bunyip Elder. It's time Elder. you knew the truth. It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, Who the fuck are we going to boomerang today? was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. So, around the time that this game was popular, there was this, uh, there was this myth that Cassaries were cold-blooded. And that is unfortunately Boss Cass's whole character design, is that just, he's a cold-blooded, and he works with other cold-blooded animals to bring back the age of old blood and drooling near it, all right? Now to restore the natural order once and for all. Boomerang bomb here. Just like completely shatters the glass that the boomerangs were bouncing off of before. I love how brutal this explosion is, just like destroying everything. <laughs> Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in This the is a bomb. This yeah. is a bomb on drugs. Is Boss Cass is exactly. seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you. So this you is Boss Cass's uh, slave labor mine. Does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? You okay? Oh, Mike, glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Woo! Sounds like you've got a fair beacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what. You do the adventuring, and I'll help you out where I can. So, so the bird talks about rather be at home watching the footy, right? Yep. So these animals have televisions. First yes, of all. and they also play Welcome football. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. Yeah. By the way, whenever you see one of these like signs, I won't be far football away. Football teams. I've heard that of if you press the action what sort of animal? you can talk to exactly. me. Exactly. I don't means. know. 
Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're gonna be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know yeah. just the place to find one. Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Okay, so he wants us to head over so, there. Do you know what that means? So, so now that we're done with the cave that revealed our destiny, oh god, I guess we're gonna go get some thunder eggs, aren't we? Well, now that we're you're done not, with the Cave of Eternal Doom... You're not going to be able to drop onto this one. Fuck! No. <laughs> you tried. Oh, um, it worked, it worked. What was I even saying? You interrupted me. By face planting. Yeah. You it was worth it. it. It was. Uh. Um, no, I've completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> What the fuck is oh, you, you found a fair dinkum right? When you find enough, take to the okay, bunny right. elder. Right, right, right. Um. Oh, I thought you were gonna fall. There. Why did you jump before it went into water? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, Trust. let's just let's just go because we can't get all the rainbow scales in this area. Right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Now that we've finished with the Cave of Destiny bit, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have to go and retrieve the uh, <clears throat> Sacred Sword. I mean, Sacred Boomerang. Sacred Boomerang Sword. Yes. From its boomerang stone pedestal. Sword. We gotta, we gotta pull the Sacred Boomerang from its stone pedestal. G'day, because Joe. we're the chosen now, hero. If I, j I said good day, mate. I just oh goodness graces me. Oh, I didn't see you there. It's I was the best, just making some best last voice acting adjustment. of the century right here. Well, well, well. You must be Ty. Just wanna so add a bit here. Are Koalas are fucking heck? terrible What's animals. This contraption do? They have some of the this lowest uh, brain to body mass ratios of any mammal. Talismans. Why is this so? And then, it's uh, quite they're simple, so really. stupid it uses an that they can't identify eucalyptus leaves. They're only food source. Match the unique power of unless the they're talismans. attached to the tree. Huh? Mm, it's like an animal that could potentially oh. starve oh. surrounded by food. Eggs are the key to powering the machine. These oh, are not traits of an animal that is winning in life. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> you see, this machine doesn't just find where the dead is. You can skip this. I've got a position up the wazoo my... for it. So, uh, hey, okay, yep. We go through the portal majig to collect the thunder eggs to power machines to make more boomerangs. That's it. Also, <laughs> thunder eggs. Uh, I mean, they never actually really explain what the fuck they are. They're geodes, obviously. Right? But they're magical thunder geodes? Yep. Magical thunder geodes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Works when, for me. when you have an explosion on that scale. Listen, right? It's basically well, like. Uh... You need to collect all three. Hundred of these red orbs. That's so probably gonna take up more time than anything else we do in this level. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Fuck. Oh, I was about to say Jordan dipped this jump the first time we played, and then he did it again. I hate this game. The camera is so annoying. Oh, good job. I did this whole level 100%. With uh, mouse and keyboard, <laughs> and Jordan Jordan gets to play with the controller. I actually fixed my controller after that though, so now I can play it with the controller. But I, but I want it to be known. I did this with mouse and keyboard. Was my magnet power up so that I can just grab them from halfway across the map? All right, here we go. Here we go. Also, okay. these outhouses. Uh, if we mess ourselves, we show up back to the outhouse. That's cool. Those lizard enemies, they jump back if you try to bite them. So you're supposed to have to boomerang them. But it turns out you can just keep biting until they die. 
which I assume is how most animals work in the first place. Hey, check behind that waterfall. I always no, check great. behind the it's waterfalls. Not this. Yeah, I know, it's not this waterfall, sorry, it's the next waterfall. I always forget. Mm. Yeah. Um. There's certain sound effects in this game that are just deeply satisfying, like uh, when you free a bilby from a cage, or when you pull yourself up onto a ledge with a boomerang. But sometime around the, uh, I don't know. Oh, I knew it. 87th or 88th time around, they start to get really annoying. You're doing great so far, Jordan. You're making great time. No, I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Can I just say that me, as an adult man, would love nothing more than to have a, sh a pair of shorts down past my knees exactly like these? I would also wear them. Yeah, not the Ripper Ruse, by the way. I'm talking about Ty's uh, red shorts with white flowers. No, sorry, yellow flowers. So basically, want you want... Bright red... You want shorts. Max's want shirt, right? You want Max's shirt from Ben 10, but as shorts. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. You... You may have noticed Jordan just defied fucking gravity by pressing bite I'm, a bunch of times. I'm, 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 this game doesn't understand what gravity is. I don't think this game understands physics, given no. our main weapon is a boomerang. Uh, look, 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 look. I can do this in real life with a boomerang. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Especially shattering bulletproof glass on the return trip of a boomerang. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Jordan? Get out of the water. I love it. Props to this game for actually having, you know, swimmable water. How many PS2 games had that? Almost none. All I'm gonna say is GTA 3 didn't. And GTA 3 had boats. Yeah, that's actually great. I one. fucking hated it. There was like a mission from the, uh... The last mission from the second quest giver was basically this huge boat, uh, like boat race kind of deal, right? But it was an absolute bitch to do. I hated it so much. That reminds me of the boat race that was, okay, so like there was this hovercraft and you had to chase after it in a helicopter and pick up all the drugs. And... No, no, no. There was a, I'm sorry, the helicopter you were chasing after while in a hovercraft. And it was almost fucking impossible. And I think that was in Vice City Stories for the PSP, but I'm not sure. Oh, that just reminds me of the RC plane from San Andreas. Uh, I hated the one, that. The one with the explosives on it? Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, oh, no, no, no. It was the one where uh, you had to defend the guy's building from RC planes. And you had like the mini gun on top of the building. I think, I think you can reach up that ledge. Oh, I can. I'll get it soon. Alright. Something about cogs. Yeah, you Techno collect the cogs. Rings. You can upgrade. You can upgrade the boomerangs with the cogs, okay. but they're not the uh, story boomerangs. You still need the thunder eggs for those. Oh no. They're just better boomerangs and boomerang upgrades. And you know, me as a child. I never upgraded the boomerangs until right before the final boss because I'm like, Whoa, you can do that? I didn't listen to anything the fucking character said, dude. Hmm. Guess there's nothing in there. I, I'm sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. Did you go up that ledge back there? Yeah, you? I did. I did. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good job. I was, I, I was totally lost in my nostalgia. I apologize. No, oh, trust me, but I do the exact same thing a lot. Oh, you little oh, bitch. You got, you got stomped. No, it wasn't even the Ripperoo that killed, uh, that attacked me, it was the Gecko. Yeah, there, okay. <laughs> Nothing about that is a Gecko. Oh, it has the frills. 
geckos don't have frills. That was a frill neck lizard. That's oh. literally what it's called. Uh, same thing, same thing. No, actually, wait. Geckos do have things on the side of their head. I, I don't think you call them. Oh. I don't think they're special things. Oh, so we do need those. We do have to get those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get You get up there this way. Alright. Um, Let's see. Go back and... Oh, no, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, so for this guy... Make some distance, shoot a rang at him, and then run around and bite his crotch. Yep. Bite the crotch. Or crotch. Boom. That works. Gonna miss that. <laughs> I honestly did too. Trust me, Grim. This is a game for children. I couldn't possibly lose. Yeah, probably not, honestly. I played uh, and completed three whole levels earlier. I don't think I ever lost the life. So, yeah. Game for kids. Silly games for kids. Silly rabbit. Ooh, that was almost beautiful. The uh, quick termination of lizards. I gotta say, you're a. Uh, your relatives in, in your home with you are going to be the highlight of this video. <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me, but that would not surprise me. Oh, you're going to love this. Louder so than you me. See that, you see that alligator over there? That's an alligator? Yep, to your left. Well, now I have a second boomerang, so I, I'll fuck that alligator up. <laughs> Item get. Like, literally the fucking Zelda pose and everything. You saw that? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, now, go look at that alligator. Look at him real hard. There he is, there he is. Good news and bad news. You can kill the alligator. And that's it. <laughs> Just bullying! <laughs> oh, there it is. Alligator's just like minding his own business and something. Watch your Oh, it's dead. Oh no, there's still, there's still, there's still things. Uh, pretty sure there's over here. Jump up into the right. I think the path leads there. Ah, damn it! Wait, can I uh, glide with these now? Yes, you just hold the button. Here. Tap. So you have to tap and then hold. Ah, like, tap, tap and tap, then hold. hold. Okay. Yeah, so it's like tap, tap, hold. It's like you press, release, press, hold. Ah, yeah. I don't think I can get up that. Hmm. I, can I can swear you could, but let's just move. I can swear you could, but let's just move on. No, no, I might be able to. Let's see. I mean, what else would this platform be for? I feel like it's not time. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, I see what's happening. I've just got to look not, down. You're not. Yeah, you're not holding the uh, the jump button long enough the first time to get the full jump height. Right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh. I feel like uh, those geckos over there just look like the uh, those fucking coffin dances. Oh, hey, what's down there? No. Yeah, you can't swim yet, so you, you you won't know. And I never did come back here after I did know how to swim. So I oh, it's just an extra known. life. There's a there's a hole though. Ah, fuck. Where's, the, where's the hole go? I never even checked. You know, like I never came back here after the first time. Really? You're having a lot of fun with this. There we go. Yeah. Damn. Give him. 
give him a break. Seafic, only person in the comments. Give him a break, dude. Alright, he needs to get back into it. <laughs> it's been a little while. Oh, this is great. Um, I forget what button it is to activate that orb thing, but you can just use it to just beat the shit out of people. But if you touch water, then it's over. What? Yeah, like just this random suddenly Final Fantasy X shit. Why are you yelling at me, Parrot? I don't know. Let's go down. Yeah, let's go down. Yeah, I didn't actually go this way. Wait. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. If this doesn't go... If this uh, advances the plot, I'll just... Go back where I was. Fair. Fair. Yeah, this will be fine. There we go. Hey, magnet, magnet, magnet. Can I see the magnet? I was looking for that. Oh. Well, I apologize, Jordan. And you do have to go back. My bad. Nah, that's fine. I, I know exactly what I need to do. And then there's also those, uh, yeah. orbs up on a cliff side that we passed a long time ago. You're gonna need them. I'm assuming I also need to hit those buttons with the boomerang using the, uh, zoom in feature. Yes. Although, simply jumping and throwing oh, rings what? also. Oh, no, never mind. Simply jumping and throwing rings will also do it. If you're close enough. Okay, where is it? There it is. Uh, this is still inverted. Really? Yeah. Oh, do you think it's normal, usually, and then we inverted the inversion, so now it's inverted? I mean, potentially, I don't actually know. Missed opportunity for a great puzzle here. Because what you could have, what they could have done is they could have made it so some of the platforms were already aligned. Yeah. And that way, you know, kids would have to figure out which buttons to press and which not to press. Or if they failed, then they would just have to press the correct one after that. I feel like kids would hate it. Yeah, I had John play a little bit of Portal 2 the other day. Oh, nice. How did he do? My little nephew, John. I don't think he understands how portals work at all. And also, he's not great with the camera controls. Like, at the same time as... Hey! Beautiful. We don't even have to go back for those anymore. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. So as soon as you get the... Uh rest of the buildings and the cogs. I think we're set to go. Oh yeah. We got this. So and then that'll be like that. that'll be like the whole episode too, won't it? Oh, why can't I? What are you doing? I can't. Oh, I. I don't think that the uh, the look up is bound, so I can't look up. <laughs> you can't look up. I can't look down even. I can look up, I can't look down. Ah. Well, it's a good thing it snaps back automatically, because that would otherwise be detrimental, huh? That would otherwise be to this. Yeah. Well, I think that's all of that done. Check the, um, open this, the menu. Nope, sorry. Other button select, I think it is. We missed one of the bilbies somehow. There's probably one further on. Alright, go for it. Oh, yep, see? Wait. Is it this way? Yeah. Yeah, this way. It is this way, yeah. The other Bilby's probably over here. 
It shouldn't. It shouldn't automatically send you back, so. But it works. When I did this part, I had like just this. I had this. Impulse, this compulsion. Don't go in that portal and. Use it. Um, oh, yeah, use this. Use this big circular dome that. Oh, every dome is circular. Um, I had this compulsion to jump up that small cliff without gliding over. Just because, you know, I knew I could. Yeah. Alright, so. How did we. Where did we miss it? Is the question. Yeah. Oh, open with select. So it's way at the beginning. Oh god. Oh damn. Oh wait, nope. There's an easy solution. Okay, go back to the dome. You'll see a ring of green mushrooms. Just like stand in the mushrooms, and I will have this little mushroom trip and wander off. And the next thing he knows, he's just back at the start of the area. Who pays drugs? Yeah, just breathing it in. And here we are. Um. I don't think there's actually another Bilby over here. Interesting. That's and, probably and towards the end then. And actually, you know what, obviously it's not over here. It's the second to last Bilby, so it'll be somewhere in between the middle Bilby that we got and that last one that you got in the waterfall in the next area. Right? It's probably somewhere over here. Yeah, it's probably even up up the waterfall, even like up the platform. Potentially. But if, but if you want to check right around here, then that's good too. Let's see. Nope. 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 Nope, nope. I'm uh, actually kind of surprised we even missed this stuff. Like, that's weird. Let's see. Um, if it's not right here, or, or even like down from here. Yeah, jump down. Ooh, yeah, right there. Right there. You did it, dude. Good job. Alright, now go back to the start of the level and use the time trial. Okay. I think you're gonna really like the time trial, because I think of you as a giant child, and it's something that only a child could do. Okay. I'm joking. Don't, don't know how to that. take that, but okay. <laughs> don't agree to that. What's wrong with you? It was a joke. <laughs> I don't it's understand a, jokes. Super easy. You're gonna love it. Uh, here we go. Or you're gonna find it, you know, kind of boring and tedious. I hope it's not the second one. Burns. I'm always really confused about how there's wildlife in this game. Like, how is there wildlife if the wildlife is in? Does that make any sense? It really doesn't. But... It gets really weird later on with the first boss fight, and I won't spoil much. But like, I just have to punch a guy in the face. Welcome, race to the finish us. Right, the checkpoint, but miss one. Good. Okay, this is gonna be fun. As long as you don't fuck it up, you'll be good. Because this is like a really easy time. The only way you can fuck it up is if you try to do what I did as a small child. And stick to the very edges of the ring to try to shave off fractions of a second. Because sometimes on the very edge of the ring it doesn't register as you going through. So don't do that and you're fine. Than a long leg. I Isn't his whole great. thing that he's supposed to be helping us get the fucking things, and yet he's just holding them for himself? Yeah, that's a great point. 
we have collected every single thunder egg in this level. So take the mushrooms back to the end and get get the portal out of here. Okay. We're done. And that that'll be like that'll be like this whole episode. That's fair. Yep. Getting high in the mushroom patch. Oh yeah. Bala. And back we go. Back from whence we came. Oh, there's a cutscene. I found it. I found it. Let me see that. Well, I found it. I found it. A mystic talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. How does he know which areas they're in anyway? I think he probably, uh, first of all, it's been like 10 years, right? <laughs> okay. But I think anyone qualified to field an army of henchmen and build a giant mechanical gorilla uh, to, badger to battle with magical boomerang wieldy t wielding tigers, right? Anyone who can do that can yes. probably mm -hmm. figure yes. out Make the trajectory of some talismans launched by an explosion. That's fair. Yeah. So now there's two more levels here. We're just gonna grab the scales behind the houses. No, no, no. I want to thank everyone for stopping by and watching and enjoying this this little nostalgia trip with us <laughs> and listening to me talk for what like 24 minutes has it been let's check what's it's it? been what's it been 31 31 minutes jesus christ get the fuck out of here <laughs> end the video